Good morning, folks. Have you noticed the sun prefers not to fire at Earth? Stick around till the end of the video. The departing western limb has become the launch pad for major plasma filaments. This is the third such eruption in October. Lift, release, and snap. Same story as she goes. The sun is quiet. We don't see any big flashes or ejections in Earth's direction. Still, the coronal hole is taking the cake aesthetically. But first, we're coming to Space Weather News to check in on that flaring chart. Confirm the weak readings. Let's take a look at the sunspots. Nearly a blank disk. The Earth-facing solar quiet has been quashing sunspots when they crest into view. Eyes on the limb for the next one. When we look at our star in 171 angstroms, we see the bright loops coming up through the corona from that area. Those are the umbral magnetic fields of the spots. After days of solar wind unrest, the speed is dropping and we're finally seeing an end to the magnetic storms from this stream, although who can say what else might be coming? That large coronal hole up north is setting its solar wind to arrive at Earth in just another 36 to 48 hours. Top shot of the day comes from Hubble, MZ2 and its shedding planetary nebula, the shape of which makes you think electrically. Those two stars are indeed the center of the system and a true companion. State of the climate report for September is out as well. El Nino really pushed the heat in the U.S., but when we look back over the last year, those cold marks are still holding on. We've got a new cyclone forming just west of India, and there's a chance it won't make landfall, but nevertheless, it's shearing all its rain up to the land anyway. In the United States, central high pressure clears the storms and we see the convergences at either coastline. Eastern storm was a doozy yesterday and west coast of Canada and Washington, you need to realize that rain is going to last for days. In Europe, everyone wants to stare at Joaquin remnants still out to sea, which weakened a bit and have shifted south. But my focus is on the Mediterranean low, driving much more severe weather with hotter water and more energy to work with. We're zoomed in down under in the same place we were yesterday. And the convergence line became a collision zone where southern and northern air masses meet. Rain stays where he's been all day. Seven days until observing the frontier. Myself, along with some esteemed friends, bring the frontier of discovery to Pittsburgh for the first conference for the observers. Also, folks, under premium, there was a new deeper look added yesterday about the solar storm effects, and it is Saturday, so Fly on the Wall podcast will be posted to the website in a few hours. Today's episode will contain the normal Earth and Sun update from the last week, but we'll also dive into a number of cool topics, as usual, and this week we will finally come back and update the Earth-facing solar quiet. We have detailed and dissected the Sun's preference to shoot off in directions that do not face Earth, and it's about time for some review and updates to one of the most incredible of the phenomena we see the earth-facing solar quiet. We've got pressure and precipitable water followed by temperature conditions and shots of our star to close. It's 6.10 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe everyone.